So here we are outside number two, Pednolva Terrace in St Ives. In my opinion, it's one of the best terraces in St Ives. They're big houses. They've got lovely views. The terrace is a mix of residential, some holy lets, some are converted into fantastic apartments and a, and a bed and breakfast as well. You're about a five minute walk down into the centre of St Isomere, equally the same distance down to Portland's the beach. Genuinely nice terrace right in town. This one's been used as a successful holy let for the last five or six years. So at the front you've got a nice little seated area. Ideal for enjoying a glass of wine in the evening or enjoying the morning sun actually, with a bit of breakfast. We'll go into the property. So original tiled floor in the entrance hall. I just hope this video actually conveys how big these houses are because genuinely they are a fantastic size. Right, so into the open plan living area. So we've got stairs to the first floor. It's over three floors of property. This is kind of an open plan living area. The lovely big bay window to the front. Direct view there too. Kadrivi Lighthouse. And again up the coastline there. Look towards Haven, Gwydion. Lovely big room. Nice original floorboards. Fireplace. I'm advised it is open. Into a large dining area. So enough room to sit eight. Yeah, but tremendous size. Some corny ceilings left, and some ceiling roses that I imagine are original to the property, which would have been built around Edwardian times. Great house. Little cold under the stairs and then door into the kitchen. Good sized kitchen, slate flooring, granite worktop surfaces. Space there for you. Five ring gas hob, gas oven, big fridge freezer. There is a special dishwasher and a washer dryer as well. So radiator that way. It's a great kitchen. While I'm down there, just take me outside to the rear yard. This will get the late afternoon, evening sun. But again, nice space. Outside shower to wash off your sandy feet and wetsuits. And plenty of space out here if you want to store surfboards and bits and pieces. So let's back into the kitchen again. I'll take you to the first floor. I'll you from this way. You see it's a very good size. Okay. Up the wooden hills, as they say. To the back of the property. Again, we've got this lovely wood floor throughout. Into a bathroom. There's two windows. One to the side that you're looking at now. And one to the rear. So obviously bath with electric shower over. Washroom basin and close couple WC. Uh, stainless steel heated towel rail. But again, decent size. So into a twin room. Again, lovely wood floorboards. The window to the side there. And a radiator behind me. But certainly big enough for the for the twin beds. I'd imagine you could probably squeeze a four foot double in, but certainly big enough for a twin or one big single. So we've got 
onto another landing space and into another good sized bedroom. Again in here we've got a double and a single, but plenty big enough for a king size really. Still the lovely wooden floors, radiator, and window to the rear. space into classist bedroom one master bedroom great room honestly really really lovely room big bay window to the front another little further window to the front so at the moment we've got a day bed in here plus a large double Lost this large bay window to the front so we've got a view looking straight down into the harbour Everybody getting ready for the busy period. And that view continues all the way along to Gudrivi, and all up the coastline, Gudian, Hale. Back to the bedroom and a en suite. shower cubicle, little wash and basin, and a enclosed WC. So again, this room, we've got the lovely floorboards. We have a radiator. Great room. You can see why this is probably one of the best terraces in St. Ives. Just the size of the properties, the location of it, proximity to town, the views. It's great. And finally up to the second floor. We have two other bedrooms and a shower room. Get a nice big light landing space. There is a window to the rear there on the landing. And into another big bedroom. Nice original wood flooring, radiator, plenty of power points. Good size room. And a, another double room. Again with a direct view to Kadrivi Lighthouse. Just see one of the small fishing boats cutting across the bay there. So we've got a nice size double with a radiator. Lots of power points. And a door to a little ensuite shower room. If we have it. Walk in shower, the mains connected shower. Wash hand basin. And uh, WC. Great property, currently being used as a holly let. It will be this summer as well, so viewings for us will have to be on a certain time during changeover days, which are a Saturday. If you want to view, you must also, and we urge people to take note of this, you must also be in a position to purchase either cash buyer, mortgage agreed in principle, or if we sold a property using the funds to purchase. Thank you. So this is the rear of number two, and there is one sort of off-road parking space as well that can be used. Just here. And the gate then. Just takes you into the rear yard, which I've already shown you with the 
That's our shower tap. And a door into the kitchen. 